By the time of the Star Trek shows, Earth has united and has eliminated warfare, poverty, disease, and hunger. Money doesn't exist in the 24th century. No money? You mean you don't get paid? The acquisition of wealth is no longer the driving force in our lives. We work to better ourselves and the rest of humanity. So, it's a pretty boring place. But before they got to that point, some shit went down on planet Earth. So let's jump back to the late 20th century on Earth to understand why World War III started. At the end of the century, scientists began to engineer a race of genetically augmented humans with enhanced mental and physical capabilities. Basically, supermen. Look at that. Even as he is now, his heart valve action is twice the power of yours or mine. Lung efficiency, 50% better. An improved breed of human. That's what the eugenics war was all about. I'd estimate he could lift us both with one arm. This was supposed to bring in a new era of peace and prosperity, but as we've seen by plenty of sci-fi shows, it didn't. Humans got... The augmented humans became known as augments, rebelled against their creators, and decided they should rule Earth. They were superior, after all. This led to a series of horrific wars that were called the Eugenic Wars. In 1993, a group of these young supermen did seize power simultaneously in over 40 nations. Well, they were hardly supermen. They were aggressive, arrogant. They began to battle among themselves because the scientists overlooked one fact. Superior ability breeds superior ambition. Non-enhanced humans were fighting tooth and nail to beat back the genetic supermen. Luckily, the non-enhanced humans eventually overpowered the augments and won. Except there was one powerful leader named Khan or something. He got away with his followers, but I'm, I'm sure that never led to anything important. Khan! However, that wasn't the end of Earth's conflicts, not by a long mile. Genetic manipulation and the tensions it had caused in the previous century began to boil over in the 21st century. In 2026, Colonel Philip Green led fellow terrorists in a crusade to wipe out impure humans. His actions led to a purge that spiraled Earth into World War III. This would be Earth's final global war, where 37 million people died and entire cities were wiped off the face of the planet. Green had no pity for the impure and fought endlessly to destroy them. He was so ruthless he would attack and murder people while negotiating with them. Early in this war in 2036, the new United Nations were formed, declaring no Earth citizen could be made to answer for the crimes of their race or forebearers. However, despite this unity and declaration, the war still raged on, devastating Earth. And if you're wondering, the Vulcans, despite us not knowing about them, knew about us and knew we were just tearing ourselves apart with warfare, and they, they never stepped in, despite their own planet almost being destroyed through warring shit. And yeah, that actually did hurt them in our eyes when we learn years later that they knew what was happening and they never stepped in to help us. But even without their help, finally in 2053, the representatives from governments around the world decided they were done with this war, and they gathered in the San Francisco area to agree to a ceasefire that led directly to the creation of a single united world government. But not quite yet. Earth still had a few bumps despite ending World War III. Whole generations had been wiped out and the Earth was put through Hell. The use of nukes had engulfed the Earth with an enormous dust cloud that resulted in many nuclear winters. The atmosphere was also irradiated and there was a much larger amount of radioactive isotopes. This led to a lot of radiation sickness and people suffering from mutations. Three years after the ceasefire and end of World War III, Green, the asshole who started the war, and his men decided they hadn't caused enough suffering yet. They personally killed hundreds of thousands of individuals affected with radiation sickness and other impurities, saying that their death ensured they didn't pass off mutations to further generations to suffer from. Colonel Green, 
Colonel Green, one of the many men history has misunderstood. For the sake of our children, and our children's children, we must reject the impure and cast it out! While some considered this genocide, other people backed him, and this caused an even bigger divide among the people of Earth. Green euthanized hundreds of thousands who were afflicted with radiation damage. Their millions of descendants would have endured horrible disease, yet history, history never says anything about that suffering that Green prevented. There is good news, though. In 2063, first contact was made with the Vulcans when Zephyrin Cochran developed warp drive that drew the attention of a Vulcan ship passing nearby. This first contact led to an increase in unity and recovery post the war. Of course, there would be a war or two afterwards, and the new United Nations would collapse, leading to a culture that was barbaric and stated, kill all the lawyers. And guilty until proven innocent. But by the end of the 21st century, humans had eliminated almost all poverty, hunger, war, and disease. Yeah, there was some chaos in the early 22nd century and some <laughs> xenophobic shit in the mid 22nd century, but that's humans for you. They're just always being dicks, always finding something new to bitch about. Various unified world alliances would pop up, but all this death, destruction, and suffering eventually led to the United Earth Government in 2150. The United Earth Government would continue to exist even after it became a member of the United Federation of Planets it helped found in 2161. Oh yeah, then Earth would be attacked so many times by different species. Just a total bloodbath. 